All right, so for page three, there's just one question. I'm taking you through the processes of a um, hypothesis test question. So, <laughs> so we're conducting a psychological study. So in the study of the relationship between temperament and personality, a random sample of 70 female high school students um, <laughs> had a high level of reactivity and a sample of 80 female high school students had a low level reactivity. And so for these two groups, um, we classify them according to their attitude towards group pressure recorded as resistant or submissive. And below is a table. So the researcher would like to assess if the results indicate a difference in the likelihood of a resistant attitude for the two reactivity populations. So namely to test if P1 equals P2 or P1 doesn't equal P2. So this means that this test is two-sided. All right, so <laughs> question A, if the null hypothesis is true, there is just one common population proportion. Give an estimate of that common population proportion. So, for calculating your common population proportion, p hat, since we're interested in the likelihood of resistant attitudes, it's just the total resistant attitudes, so 21 plus 40, divided by the total people in the study, so 70 plus 80. So you should get... 61 over 150, and in the end, 0 0.4067. So your final answer is 0 0.4067. Or 40.67% is also fine. All right. So for the next question, they tell you that the resulting test statistic value is negative 2.45. Provide the corresponding p-value, show all work. So, in this case, um, since 150 times your common population proportion is greater than or equal to 10, and 150 times 1 minus 0 0.4067 is also greater than or equal to 10. Um, <coughs> your test statistic value would be your z value. So in which case, um, you don't have to draw a picture to show work, but oftentimes it's pretty helpful. Um, but if you do draw a picture, make sure to label your distribution. So your distribution, the x-axis is your z values. And for z values, the distribution is always normal 0, 1. So that's how you label it. And then since your test is double-sided, since it's P1 doesn't equal to P2, you're testing, or you're wanting to find these two areas. So for the test statistic of 2.49 and negative 2.49. So where the middle is zero. So what you do is you go to your Z table and you can look up um, negative 2.49. So negative 2.4 and then 9. And you should get a p value of 0 0.0064. So since your p value is for both sides, your final answer is 2 times 0 0.0064, which should give you a final answer of 0 
All right, so now that you have your p-value, the next question is, which of the following is the appropriate statistical decision and conclusion at the 5% level? So first of all, since your p-value um, is less than 0 0.05, you want to reject H0. So these two statements can't be right. And if you're rejecting H0, then you're um, accepting HA. So you conclude that there is a significant difference in the likelihood of a resistant attitude for the two reactivity populations. So the correct answer is the second statement. Finally, part D is asking what type of error could the researcher have made? If you are rejecting H0, type 1 error is the error that you um, um, reject H0 when H0 is true. Type 2 error is rejecting or is failing to reject H0 when HA is true. So since we're rejecting H0, the only error that we can make is type 1 error, which is the error based on um, <laughs> incorrectly rejecting H0.